For this video, we will be answering some sample problems related to hydraulic conductivity and seepage. So let's get on to the first question. So figure 3.2 shows layers of soil in a tube that is 100 mm by 100 mm in cross section. Water is supplied to maintain a constant head difference of 400 mm across the sample. So when we say constant head, constant head difference, that's your delta H. Meaning, if you have this value here, and you have this value, you simply subtract this height by this height, you'll get delta H. But in this problem nga, binigay na siya. Hindi na ibinigay yung height na to. But in some problems, instead na ito yung ibigay, these two um, heads or heights yung binibigay. Okay. So, to start with, we have the given soil, ABC, and we have the hydraulic conductivities uh, for each soil. We have for soil A, we have 1 times 10 raised to negative 2 cm per second, 3 times 10 raised to negative 3 cm per second for soil B, and for soil C, 4.9 times 10 raised to negative 4. And we have um, porosity value for each soil. We have 25%, 32%, and 22% respectively for A, B, and C. So, we are asked to calculate the equivalent hydraulic conductivity in centimeter per second. Also, we need to calculate the rate of water supply or the flow rate in cubic centimeter per hour. And then, calculate the seepage velocity through soil C, through soil C in meter per second. Okay, so let's answer the first question. So, calculate the equivalent hydraulic conductivity in centimeter per second. So, upon looking at our soil sample, you can already say that its uh, direction is actually a normal flow direction, right? It's a normal flow direction. That's why... We will use the normal flow um, formula. So, kindly refer sa ating PDF lecture about hydraulic conductivity under um, this specific section that if you have a normal flow, the formula that you will use is all over equivalent hydraulic conductivity is equal to the summation H over the conductivity or hydraulic conductivity of each soil. So, we use this one for normal flow. Okay. And now, let's substitute each values. By the way, what is HO? Take note that HO is the total height of each soil. So, if you try to look in this direction, this will be the height. So, for soil A, the height is 150. For soil B, 150. For soil C, that's 200. Okay? So, to get the total height, you simply add uh, HA plus HB plus HC and that is 150 plus 150 plus 200. So, HO is 500 mm. Okay? So, since we know the value of HO, then we can solve for the K equivalent. So, let's, let me erase this one. So, we have HO, we have 500, sorry. Okay, so for HO, again, we have 500 all over K equivalent. And then, we get the summation of 
H over Q of H soil. So we have H of soil A, we have 150. And again, guys, what is the hydraulic conductivity of uh, soil A? If you can remember, the hydraulic conductivity is 1 times 10 raised to negative 2. Plus, soil B, the height is 150 also. And for soil B, the hydraulic conductivity is 3 times 10 raised to negative 3. And for soil C, the height is 200 millimeters. And the hydraulic conductivity given is 4.9 times 10 raised to negative 4. Okay. So, kindly calculate the value for the equivalent K. And that will be in centimeter per second already. Okay. So, what's the answer? Okay, so I got 1.0567. Okay, 1.0567 times 10 raised to negative 3 centimeter per second. So that's your answer for the first item. Okay, that's quite easy, right? Now let's move on to the second question. Okay, so the second question is calculate the rate of flow or the rate of water supply in cu cubic centimeter per hour. So we are looking for uh, the value of Q. So based on our PDF lecture, Q is simply Kia. Kia. Okay, we're in K is the hydraulic conductivity, I is simply the hydraulic gradient, right? That is um, I is equal to delta H over L. Okay? And then we have area. A is the area. So let's substitute. Since we already have the equivalent value for, for the hydraulic conductivity K, that's uh, okay na, no? How about for I? So, let's solve for the value of the hydraulic gradient. So, hydraulic gradient, again, is simply delta H over L. So, our delta H is 400 mm. And what is L? What is L? L is simply the, the total length of your soil. So, this is the total length of your soil. That is... Um, 150, 150, 200. So, that's 500 mm. Okay, so that's the value of your um, hydraulic gradient. And that is 0 0.8. 0 0.8. And then, what is the area? As um, stated in our problem, let's move back. It says in the problem that the... Um, Tube is 100 mm by 100 mm in cross section, right? It was stated in the problem or in the statement of the problem. So, let's substitute. We have K. What is the value of K? A while ago, we got 1.0567 times 10 raised to negative 3. That's K. And then the hydraulic gradient is 0 0.8. And then the area is 100 by 100. So Q, therefore, is 9. Okay, so the value is in cubic centimeter per second, we got. By the way, the given cross-section pala is in millimeters, right? And this is in centimeter 
per second. So, we should um, use the centimeter unit. So, 100 mm yung given. So, we must use 10 centimeter, right? 10 by 10. So, the Q value will become 0 0.0845. Centimeter, cubic centimeter per second. But, the required unit should be in cubic centimeter per hour. So, we simply convert how many, in one hour, how many seconds do we have? We have 3,600 seconds. So, the second unit will be, will cancel out. So, the final answer, therefore, will become... 304.3296 cubic centimeter per hour. So, that's our final answer for the flow rate. Q. Okay? Next item. So, for the last item, we are asked to calculate the seepage velocity through soil. Through soil, C in meter per second. The seepage velocity... And seepage velocity is simply the velocity over the porosity. We are looking for the seepage velocity of soil, C. But first, how do we solve for V? We know that Q is simply area times velocity. Therefore, velocity is just Q over A. Diba alam naman natin yung cross-sectional area ng ating at tube that is 100 mm by 100 mm or 10 cm by 10 cm. A. And then, we already computed for Q. So, again, what is Q? Q is 0 0.0845 cubic centimeter per second. So, we will use the unit na per second. Kasi kinonvert natin siya kanina per hour, di ba? We use the cubic centimeter per second over um, 10 by 10. So, we will get 8.45 8.45 times 10 raised to negative 4 cm per second. And then, to solve for the seepage velocity, so we have the velocity okay, over the porosity. So, you can remember, ang, ang porosity ni soil C is 22%. So, that's point, uh, 0.22. So, divided by 0.22, so that's 3.8409 times 10 raised to negative 3 centimeter per second. Second item for um, the same topic, no? hydraulic conductivity. So, it's a combination naman. It's a combination. So, as you can see here, you have a normal flow. And then, parallel flow. And then, it um, has another normal flow. Okay? So, paano mo siya i-analyze? Paano mo siya padadaliin? Diba? So, ikaw bahalang gumawa ng technique doon. But, since we are looking for the equivalent values later, we will look for the equivalent values later. I think, no, mag-a-agree kayo sa akin, if ihahatiin natin siya instead na i-analyze mo siya na as is na pa ganyan, di ba? You can simply get the equivalent flow. So, paano yun? So, gagawin natin, guys. Ayan. Mahatiin natin siya into three layers. So, you have layer 1, Layer 2. At alam naman natin yung value nyan. So, we have H3.3. H4, uh, we have um, 0.5. And then, H5, we have 0.4. And the value of um, H here is 1.2. So, tama naman 1.2 ito pag inad mo. All in all. Okay? So, ganun. And then, titignan natin kung parallel flow ba siya or perpendicular flow. Okay. So, let's um, 
uh, uh, answer. By the way, basahin muna natin yung problem, no? So, it state, states here that the stratified soil has um, the properties, no, for each soil. So, the coefficient of permeability, guys, no? Take note, that is also your hydraulic conductivity. Coefficient of permeability is also the hydraulic conductivity. Madaming tawag sa kanya. Pero ito yung most common na ginagamit. So, we have K1. 6.25 cm per hour, K2, 5.75 cm per hour, K3, 4.5 cm per hour, K4, 6.25, K5, 8.15, and K6, 3.6 cm per hour. So, the total head, or the, ito actually, sabi ko nga sa inyo, delta H talaga yan, pero sa mga problems, usually, ang symbol lang is H. So, the delta H value is 1.8 meters. Okay? So, we are looking for the total flow per meter, okay, and the equivalent coefficient of permeability. So, let's start. Okay, guys. So, for this item, no, uh, again, we will analyze this as three layers, no? Okay. So, the flow, Q1, Q2, Q3. Pag pinagsama-sama mo yan, that will be the total flow, Right? So, yun yung answer natin sa first um, question, which is, we are looking for the total flow. That is simply, or, that is simply Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Or, you can use a smaller letter, no? Para maging consistent tayo sa symbol. Okay. And we know that to solve for Q, that is simply Kia. Right? Kia. For K, we will get the equivalent K. Then, for I, alam naman natin, I is simply delta H over L. And then, for the area, kukunin mo lang yung cross-sectional area of each, ano no, of each soil. Okay? So, ayun. By the way, guys, if hindi stated sa problem kung anong width yung i-consider mo, we will assume 1 meter width. Okay? Width. Kaya huwag kayo magtataka ba't may 1 meter na ma-introduce later, no? Sige. So, let's get the value of Q1 muna, no? So, sabi natin to get Q1, that is K equivalent uh, 1 I times A. Okay. So, by the way, ano ba yung ano natin? yung k equivalent since we can consider this one as a normal flow right normal flow yung kay q1 ka muna tumingin normal flow siya meron kang mga individual normal flow dun sa sa layer mo na yan so for normal alam na natin ang gagawin di ba pag normal Sabi natin, HO is equal to Q equivalent or is to Q equivalent equal to H over Q nung bawat soil. ba? Okay, so yun yung gagawin natin. Okay, so for um, Q equivalent 1, ano ba yung HO natin? Tama ba yung HO natin? Sabi ko kanina, kung ito yung flow mo, kung ano yung parallel na dimension dyan, yun yung H. Tama. And since, yan, given naman, that will be your HO for 1, 2, and 3. Kasi, pagkakasing haba naman yung tatlong layers mo, ba? Meaning, yan na yung HO mo for Q1, Q2, and Q3. So, HO is 0.8, plus 0.7 plus 1.5 plus 0.9 so all in all that is 3.9 3.9 and then ano yung magiging um, formula natin dahil yan ay normal flow sabi nga natin the formula is HO over 
K equivalent. So, HO over K equivalent is equal to summation of H over K nung bawat uh, nakikita mo na normal or yung dadaanan nung flow, di ba? So, dun muna tayo sa una. Ano nga ulit yung K dito? That, that is K1, di ba? K1 na tong lahat na to. So, K1. Ang K1 natin is 6.25 cm per hour. So, we have ano ang kanyang length? That is 0.8 or height over 6.25 plus ito naman K2 naman siya no ang K2 natin is 5.75 tas yung height niya is 0.7 0.75 plus ito naman this K3 no tama K3 ang K3 natin is 4.5 and the height is 1.5. Plus, yung huli, no, we have 0.9 yung height niya and then K6. Sorry. What's the value of K6? 3.6, no? Sorry. This is 3.6. Okay. So, kindly calculate to get the value of K equivalent 1. So, what is K equivalent 1? Okay, so the value of K equivalent 1 is 4.681 cm per hour. Nakasentimeter per hour kasi sila eh. 4.6815 cm per hour. So, mas maganda siguro guys, para consistent yung unit, nakameter kasi yung H natin. So, gawin na lang natin siya na um, meter per hour. So, kung meter per hour yan, divide mo lang sa um, 1,000, right? So, ilan yan? Ay, sorry. So, 100. That is, divide 100. Point. Zero. Four, six. 8 meter per hour. So, guys, pakitandaan na lang yung k-equivalent 1 natin. 0 0.0468 meter per hour. Okay? So, let's move on na agad sa k-equivalent 2. Yun muna yung unahin natin, yung puro k-equivalent lang. Okay? So, for k-equivalent 2, okay, for k-equivalent 2, that is, again, HO over K equivalent to is equal to summation of H over K. So, again, ang HO mo is same pa din, no? Ang HO mo is also 3.9. Okay? So, dun tayo titingin sa layer na to. Tama? Dahil Q2 yung, yung i-consider na natin, eh. So, K equivalent to, so, HO natin, again, is 3.9. Then, K equivalent to is equal to Summation of H over K nung bawat isa na to. Okay? So, ang H nito is 0.8. Ang K1 natin is okay, 6.25 cm per hour. Then, ito naman, ang H mo ay 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Tapos, ang K2 naman natin is 5.75 plus Ito naman, that is 1.5 yung ating H. Tapos yung K4 natin is um, 6.25. Plus yung ating K6, ang kanyang height or length is 0.9. At ang value ng K6 natin is 3.6. Okay, so what is K equivalent to? Okay, so K equivalent to is 5.2721 cm per hour. Okay, and again, convert natin siya 2 meter per hour. So, divide by 100. So, you'll get a point zero five 
meter per hour. Okay? So, again, pakitandaan na lang ito. 0.0527 meter per hour. Okay? And let's find Q equivalent 3. Okay, so for Q equivalent 3, again, we have HO over Q equivalent 3 is equal to summation of H over K. Okay, so ang HO natin is um, 3.9 meters. So we have 3.9 over K equivalent 3 is equal to H over K. Nung, ito na tayo nakatingin na sa layer na to. So, ang ating una is, ang H niya is 0.8. Tapos, K1 to, ba? Ang K1 natin, again, is, ayan, K1 is 6.25. Plus ito, ang H niya is 0.7. Tapos, ang K2 natin is, 5.75 plus H naman nito is 1.5 and then ang kanyang K, K uh, 5 is 8.15 plus ang H niya ay 0.9 at ang K6 natin is 3.6 Okay, so what is K equivalent? Okay, so ang na-compute ko is 5.7035 cm per hour or again that's divide 100 so that's 0.057 cm um, per hour Okay, so kompleto na yung Q equivalents natin. So, we're ready to solve for the value of Q1, Q2, and Q3. Okay. So, by the way, guys, yung value ng I pala natin for all ay same lang kasi magkakasing haba naman sila. Saka, isa lang naman ng head nyan. Saka, length. ba? So, as you can remember, kanina in-state dun sa problem na ang head daw natin, sabi ko nga, yun din yung delta H, that is 1.8. So, ayan. Given niya na. Given. And then, ang length natin is yung 3.9. Tama? 3.9. So, that's the value. So, that the value of I for Q1, Q2, and Q3 will be uh, same na lang yan, diba? 0. 0.4615. 0. 0.4615. Okay. So, let's solve for the value of Q1, Q2, and Q3. So, for Q1, we have K equivalent 1. Ano K equivalent 1 natin, guys? K equivalent 1 is, kung matanda nyo, 0 0.0468. Yung nakameter per hour po yung gagamitin natin. Then, I... How about the area? Ang area po natin for this layer, dahil Q1 ito, no? Ano yung kanyang height? 0.3. Tama? Ano yung kanyang width? Sabi natin, 1 meter. So, yan na yun. Okay. So, na-compute ko is 6.4795. 6.4795 times 10 raised to negative 3 cubic meter per hour. Okay, so next is Q2. Q2 is um yeah. Q2 is k equivalent to i times a. Okay? So ano yung q equivalent to natin kanina? If you can remember that that's um 0 0.0527, tama ba? Yes, 0 0.0527 meter per hour. 0 0.0527 I is 0.4615 Ano area natin for Q2? Ang height is 0 0.5 Ang width ay 1 meter So the value will be Okay, so the value of Q2 is 0 0.0122 0 
point zero one to two. I sorry, sorry. It should be in um. Okay. One point two one six zero. One point two one six zero times ten raised to negative two cubic meter per hour. Okay, and for Q three, we have K equivalent ah three i times the area. So, ang Q equivalent three, if you can remember, we got um point zero five seven, tama? Point zero five seven, point zero five seven. I. Ano area natin? 0.4. Yun yung Q3 natin, di ba? 0.4 times the width of 1. So, ilan yan? Okay. So, we have uh, 1.0522 times 10 raised to negative 2 cubic meter per hour. So, let's now combine all of them. What is the total flow? We have Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So, that's... Okay. So, the answer is... Okay. Point uh, 0 0.0292. 0 0.0292 uh, cubic meter per hour. 0.0292 cubic meter per hour. So, that's our answer. Okay? So, I hope na-gets ninyo tong um, problem na to. So, let's move on to the last item. The last question here is determine the equivalent coefficient of permeability. Okay? Again, determine the equivalent coefficient of permeability. So, paano yun? So, ganito lang guys ang gagawin natin. To get the equi equivalent coefficient of permeability, di ba meron na tayong Q? Q equivalent I A. So, na-compute na natin yung value ng Q total natin. Di ba? So, gagamitin mo dito is yung Q total. Parang i-analyze mo na siya as a whole system. Parang whole system lang siya. Hindi na siya naka-segmentized. So, ano yung Q equivalent nun? So, first, let's solve for I. Ano yung I ng kabuuan? Tama ba? Yung I ng kabuuan is same pa din. Ang delta H mo is uh, yung given na 1.8. Tapos, yung L mo, ito pa din, yung 3.9. Therefore, ang I mo pa din is yung 0.4615. Tama? Now, how about the area? Siyempre, yung area as a whole. So, ang area niya is 1.2 yung total height. Tapos, yung width na 1 meter. Okay? Kaya 1.2 square meter na po yung gagamitin natin na area. And ayun, may Q total ka, di ba? Ano yung Q total mo kanina? Yung sagot mo sa number 1, that is 0 0.0292. So, we have 0 0.0292 is equal to K equivalent I times the area. O, ayun na. Yan na yung K equivalent mo. So, that's So, we got 0.0527 uh, meter per hour. So, hindi ko alam kung ano yung required unit. Wala namang sinabing unit na required, pero to make it centimeter per hour, kasi naka-centimeter per hour lahat ng, ng K na given, no? gawin na lang natin centimeter per hour. So, ang gawin mo lang is you simply multiply it by 100 to make it um, centimeter per Hour, so that's 5.27. Okay, centimeter per hour. So that's it. That's our answer. I hope you got the idea, the the concept. Okay, so that that ends our discussion. So see you on the next video. We will be answering problems about um, flow nets. Okay. So thank you for watching.